interesting activity by using slices of breads. Okay? Okay, fine. Now, your class has been divided into three equal parts. Each group has three students. Okay? Now, first partner of each group has a slice of bread and a knife is there. A slice of bread and a knife is there with you. Okay. Now, I have given you a blank paper and a color strip also on which it is mentioned that you have to, for, exa for example, first group has to cut the slice of bread into two equal pieces. Okay. Second group has to cut the slice of bread into four equal pieces. And third has to cut the slice into six equal pieces. Okay. For this, you have 15 seconds and your time starts now. Okay, then thereafter you have to pass a slice, a part of that cut down bread to your second partner. Okay? Okay, till the time is continue this activity. Okay, now Ashwin, how many parts have you got? Okay, you have got one piece out of two. Okay. Let me write here. You have got one part out of two. Let's share to one part then. Okay. Okay. Let's move to the second row. Yes, please have a seat. How many parts have you got? I have got one part. Out of two. Okay. Please have a seat. Ashwin has got one part out of four. Okay, now I would like to call a member from group two. May will you please come here? How many parts Riyan has got? Shade that parts. Okay. 
Okay. Who has played playing cards before also? Everybody. Okay. Let's do today by using all these things. Very interesting. Okay. Now, for every group, two dice are kept on their tables. And a blank worksheet is there. And tambora coins are there. And playing cards are there. Okay. And I have provided you three strips. 
last lecture. Okay. Now, firstly, what we, how can we read it? The first thing is that it is. We have to read it like this. Nine upon seven means nine times one upon seven. Clear? Means here, how many total parts do we need? How many total parts do we need in this picture? Excellent response. We need seven parts. Okay. Now see, what does nine times means? I have to repeat the same thing. Nine times. Nine times one upon seven means out of seven seven boxes, I have to share again and again one 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 one. Here, this is one times one upon seven and seven times one upon seven. This part is shaded whole. So means one part is shaded whole. Seven times. But we have to do it nine times. This is eight, eight times one upon seven and this is nine, nine times one upon seven. Now, how much fraction is shaded from this part? Two, 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 one, two, upon two upon seven. seven. Excellent. Seven, it's two upon seven means two parts are shaded out of seven parts. So, what, but, what? If we read only two upon seven, this is a proper fraction. But here we have got one more thing. That is one, means the thing which is shaded whole. This part is shaded whole. This is one whole, one upon seven. This kind of fraction is called as mixed fraction. Do you have square sheets with you? Okay. And I have provided you these types of colored strips as well. Okay. Now, I will give you few improper fractions and let me see, can you represent it in the form of pictures like I have represented it here? Okay. Let's see. I will show you how to do it in the form of activity. I will take this square paper. Okay. I have taken three strips from here. Five times I have to use these strips. In this I have used for the first time. You can see that my one square is shaded whole by using these strips. One part is shaded whole. Now how much more I have to take? Two more I need. It's only two parts are done. How many parts are shaded here? Two. Two and total are three. three. Okay. So here it will be 2 upon 3. Isn't it easy and interesting? Yes. So we can represent it as well. 